Hello viewers, have a good day. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to how to calculate area of land surface temperature. So in previous tutorial, I have already shown how to prepare land surface temperature from Landsat 8 or Landsat 7, Landsat 9 satellite image. So in this tutorial, I will continue that image. So this was the LST study area. So previ in previous tutorial, I have already shown step by step how to prepare land surface temperature you can see my previous tutorial to learn each and every step very precisely so okay go to properties and one thing i mentioned here this high means the high temperature low means the low temperature so ranges between 36 degrees celsius to 23 degrees celsius and this actually land surface temperature was actually taken in December 2022 okay so within this color name I will select this one then apply and okay so red color showing actually higher land surface temperature LST and green color showing the lower LST so before going to calculate the area of LST we should classify this LST into some group for example if I go to properties if I go to classify it then if I go to selection this apply and ok so now I can see the land surface temperature in different classes that means 23 to 25 similar like this and now it actually showing more precisely prominently the variation of land surface temperature but from this point of view we are unable to calculate the uh, land surface temperature yes we can do by the pix, uh, pixel count and calculation okay but it is better to convert at first this L, uh, lst at first into it is better to convert this lst into the uh, vector file that because this lst is a raster file so if we convert this a raster file into vector file then you can easily calculate the area of each LST class so before going to conversion we should uh, we should reclassify this uh, LST okay and this reclassification is a tools actually having within this spatial analysis toolbar below so this is the reclass click on this reclassify okay so new window will open now this input raster layer is LST study area so now you can see here old value and new value so at first you should click here classify okay then you just click you can select different classical uh, classification method standard deviation method different manual natural break etc i will go with the natural break but number of class should be five so this is the this is my classification okay then click on okay now you can see here the old value is this one and new value this so these are the my new classification okay then go to output and save here reclass lst okay dot tiff reclass lst dot tiff and save then ok then go to environment go to processing extend you can select this this one as well as the raster analysis max layer is this one then click on ok and everything is ok click on ok then go to properties now we can see this is the color so i want to select again this color okay then click on apply and okay so now this is a reclass land surface temperature okay the second step is the conversion that means this is a raster file format so we should change raster to vector file format to calculate the area of individual uh, land surface temperature area so for that go to spatial analysis tool sorry so for that go to the conversion tool and here to from from raster so here you can see raster to polygon so double click here 
select input layer is LS, uh, D class LST so value should be you can say go with value and then go to output area right here LST vector ok save click on ok now you can go again here go to properties go to symbology categorize go to grid code add on value now you can also change the color like this apply and ok so what can we do again go to here go to properties you can also double click here no color ok apply and ok now it is look like more attractive second thing that now I will calculate the area of LST in individual classes individual classes mean individual temperature group now click here go to open attribute table extend this table click here second thing is that if I go to uh, open attribute table we can see grid code as well as the ID so at first we should do the dissolve after that we can do the area measurement okay so for that go to geoprocessing then dissolve select the LST vector click grid code and output is LST we can write dissolve ok save then ok we actually convert ok now you can go here go to properties go to categorize add all value then double click here no color ok apply all apply and ok so what we can do i can uncheck the previous all thing ok now we can go again here go to open up attribute table now click here add table that is area type is double then ok click here go to calculate geometry yes select the square kilometer or square meter ok so I want or hectare so I want to go with square kilometer first ok yes so now we can see here the total area of LST that means if I click on this 4 so you can see the red portion that means higher temperature that is total 6.21 square kilometer is have the higher LST Similarly, if I click on this 0, that means grid code 1, the, this grid code 1, that means lowest, lowest temperature actually uh, experiencing about 18.63 square kilometer area. But now the question is that uh, here I don't have the temperature ranges. So what, where we can found it? This is very simple. If I go LST here, go to properties you can see here this is my the level so these are the ranges of the uh, LST 23 to 25 25 to 26 so we can add here and we can see here that if I if we can see here that more above 28 degrees Celsius temperature area has total 6.21 square kilometer similarly less than 25 degrees Celsius temperature is about 18.863 square kilometer area. So, by this way, we can calculate the land surface temperature of any particular area. So, thank you for watching my channel. Keep subscribe my channel for more video and more update. Thank you. Thank you again.